Okay. I don't know if this video has an introduction or an end or what. So I'm going to start off saying, hey everybody, Joy here. I have a couple of clips to follow, but I can't remember what the heck I said. So this will be the beginning, and then wherever the last clip ends, it ends. I'm done with that quilt now, which you will soon see, and I'm getting ready to start another project. Goodbye for now. Or wait, I guess you have a couple clips to watch, and then goodbye for now. Until later. <laughs> Can you tell I've worked too long today? <laughs> hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm looking at this screen, I'm like, that's like a quarter inch tall over there. I have to show you what my lady fast mind figured out. You know what? You know that saying that necessity is the mother of invention? Oh my gosh, is it ever. I didn't invent anything, but after crawling around on my hands and knees last night on this wood floor, I laid in bed last night thinking, oh gosh, I'm going to have to bring that ping pong table in the house. I bought a ping pong table years ago when I first moved the long arm over here because it's big enough that you can put an entire quilt top on it and I used to lay plexiglass on it to make my designs and try all my designs and everything and it was down in the garage. It won't fit up here, I don't have enough room for it. And right now it's over in Jerry's barn. And so last night, it was late, I was tired and I wanted to start putting the applique on the borders of this spool quilt. So I just laid it down on the floor because that's the only place big enough. And I needed some place hard because I'm pressing this applique on here with the steam to see on the back. And it's really cool. These I already bought. These are called silhouettes from um, Edith the Sitar. And you can put them on and see they won't fall off. But you can take them off if you want to. And until you hit them with an iron, um, they can come off and go back on a thousand times, which is probably at least how many times I'll do this. <laughs> but anyway, middle of the night, I thought, I wonder if I pushed my two tables together, if it would be big enough to put my quilt top on. Now you can see this is not a huge quilt. Um, I don't even know how big it is. Um, let me see. That's two foot four foot, it's about five foot by six foot, I would say. So, um, I guess just a good lap size quilt. But even if I had a bigger one, you know, you could get this much of it flat to work with. So, doing applique, oh my goodness. And I don't know what I paid for these tables, but whatever it was, it was well worth it. I think one of them was um, $199 maybe. I got it on sale. And the other one, I don't know, it might have been $200 too. I don't know if I think it's on sale, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I am working on my applique. And when I get it done, I'll come back and show you, okay? I have to um, fiddle with a whole bunch of leaves and um, tendrils and vines. And of course, my vines have to be perfectly spaced. <laughs> so I have these lines drawn on here with the amazing friction pen because when I go over and I iron these down permanently, all of the marks will just disappear. So how awesome is that? Anyway, just want to tell you all that. Bye for now. <laughs> okay, it's me again. It's still Sunday. I probably didn't tell you what day it is yet. It's Sunday and it's, um, let me see, June 18, yeah, it's Father's Day. June 18, 2017. So, I showed you this morning how I set up my two tables together to make a great big surface to work on my quilt. I have been working on it all day long. It is now 4 o'clock. So, now I've got it hanging on top of the owl quilt, and I'm just going to stare at it for several days or weeks or months. <laughs> this quilt's going to have to be custom quilted pretty much, I think. Um, I don't know, I guess I could use my computer to fill in the, the blocks that I haven't stuck a flower or a leaf in. But anyway, I'm going to take my camera off and show it to you. Um, I don't know, I might cut out some more leaves or, I don't know, I'm telling you, whatever glue uh, Adita puts on the back of her silhouettes, once you touch it with an iron, there ain't no pulling it up again. <laughs> I even tried heating a little branch up because I thought it was the wrong color. It was her stuff, but it was some of the little um, 
wavy uh, vines are green and some of them are a light brown and light brown's coming out of a green and I don't like the way it looks. But um, we may be taking some crayons and coloring over it because it's not coming off. Anyway, let me get the camera off of here and I'll show it to you. All right, hold on. Okay, there she is. She, he, what do you call a quilt? It. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So that is my Variegated Spools by Edith de Sitar with my half price silhouettes that I bought at a going out of business sale at a quilt shop a couple years ago with Tear Bear. So I'm going to stare, stand and stare for a long time make sure that I like the bird and that I like the scissors way up there and that there's enough leaves and of course it'd probably take me a century to figure out how to quilt the thing but anyway that is it another one done unless I add some more leaves or something to it so if you see something that looks silly or funny or weird you artist type people out there princess die <laughs> tell me what I need to do or add there's no subtracting because once it's ironed on it's permanent Alrighty, that's it for this moment. <laughs> I gotta go.